Hi guys, this is Sobi48 here, and well, it's been a long time, isn't it? Well, of course, those who follow my videos uh, will know that. Yeah, I didn't record something in a long, long time, but uh, well, yeah, here I am again. Um, it's been a while, so <laughs> it feels good to be back. So, as you all may see now, we are going to play Valiant Hearts The Great War. It's a game uh, made by Ubisoft. Um, well, it's obvious about <laughs> The Great War, or as uh, most people like to call it in history, the uh, World War. Uh, the First World War, sorry. Um, but it's not about the war itself only. It's actually about people who fought in it, people who, um, well, had to live in that time, not only about like Call of Duty, like shooting or something, but this is more an intense feeling, a bit more feels to it. Um, I played the first uh, part of the game so I could see if it was something to record, and it was actually, so let's play, uh, let's get a new, new game. Uh, yes, okay. Mm -hmm. Freely inspired by the events unfolding on the Western Front between 1914 and 1918. After the assassination of Prince Franz Ferdinand of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, the German Empire declares war on Russia. Because of established alliances, France is preparing for conflict. A few hours after the announcement of the general mobilization, German civilians living in France are asked to leave the country. Carl is one of them. Ah. Yeah, as you guys can see, it is a beautiful art style. More like a comic movie or something. Oh, there's the police. On the bicycle. And as you can see here, as they said, German uh, well, citizens have to leave. Well... Carl was a German, obviously, and he was married, had a, he had a kid, so, yeah. Tears shed right in the fields. This is actually things that happened in World War. Terrible. Armée de terre et armée de mer. Hmm. Ordre de mobilisation. I can't read what's behind his thumb. But actually what, sta what just stands there is that the army, well, conscripts people. A few days after Carl was deported, the war was hungry for more and took away Emil as well. A heavy-hearted Emil was called up to fight and left the farm for San Miguel. Like so many others, he had no idea what fate had in store for him. August 13, 1914, San Miguel Barracks. <laughs> That's obvious French. Whoa, 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 whoa. Half naked man. Nope, nope, nope. Fuck this shit. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, I guess I have to. So. Let's see what happens. Uh, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Soldier. Blabber! <laughs> Get the trumpet, you idiots. Why do you forget the trumpets? Run, you bastard! Run! Die, you German! Die! Oh, sorry for all my German viewers. <laughs> Oops. Is it close enough? No, it wasn't. 
Meh. Again. Meh. Oh, that's good enough. So bien! I'm, I'm hitting with my rifle. I don't know what I was hitting with, but... Um, yeah, that's good enough. Ah, don't cross the line there. Nope! So now I'm in training camp, obviously. <laughs> That's a fun part of this game, actually. The barracks and the regiment. Battalions comprised of a battalion headquarters and four companies, a total of 1,007 men in all. Companies were comprised of four platoons, in turn divided into four sections, each of 12 men commanded by an NCO. Britain was slow to mobilize on the Western Front, half its army's army was overseas and with genuine fear of invasion. Infantry divisions were held in reserve in Britain and not included in the British Expeditionary Force. While conscription only came for four into force in 1916, voluntary enlistment was initially overwhelming with 750,000 men eager to show their patriotism. <laughs> What's this? Oh. I didn't read that one. War declared. June 28th, 1914. Archduke Franz Ferdinand, heir to the Austrian-Hungarian throne, was assassinated by Sara in Sarajevo. As a result of the chain of diplomatic and military alliances in place, the event launched Europe into armed conflict that, with the invol involvement of colonies, took on, on a global dimension. Hmm. August 1st, Germany declared war on Russia. August 3rd, Germany declared war on France. August 4th, Britain declared war on Germany, and August 11th and 12th, France and Britain declared war on Austria-Hungary. Railways. With the outbreak of war, each country was eager to dispatch its army in situ as quickly as possible to gain the advantage. Railways were essential for mobilization and supply. By August 1914, the British realized the importance of rail in the war effort and dispatched royal engineers to the effort to build new lines. By 7 1917, 40,000 enlisted railway soldiers were working for the RE in France and in Flanders. That's where I live, by the way. The debacle, 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 <laughs> not sure, of August 1914. In the early fighting, oh, I like the music. In the early fighting, the Germany ar German army made swift progress. After invading Belgium, they marched on Paris in late August. French troops retreated and en masse. And units were outflanked and repelled, taken prisoner or killed. The months of August to September 1914 marked the bloodiest period of the war, with over 180,000 French casualties alone. The French authorities described the debacle as an organized retreat. The war to win over public opinion had begun. <laughs> so, um... Yeah. Create the flag. Then hut! République Française. 150 Regiment d'Infanterie. Yeah, I'm from Belgium, I only speak Dutch, but. We are on our way to Paris. I learned a bit of French. It's. Well, we have to here. Rely on our neighbors for help. They've always been gracious and charitable people. I'll write again as soon as I get my assignment. Please kiss my little grandson for me. At the train depot in Paris, trying to reach his regiment at Platform 21, Emile would meet the man he would soon fight alongside. The man who would come to be his truest friend. Yeah, guys. Oh, I thought it was still a clip. So, um... I'm going to leave it here, um, because I have to go now, um, but anyway, I will certainly will play this uh, through, uh, it's a quite unique game, also the art style as I said is beautiful, and I want, well I want to see more, but you guys, so as always guys, if you have a question just ask me if you want, to if you want me to play something and, well, ask away. Um, and for the rest uh, of you guys, please, don't rub the soap. 
and stay clean. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye.